Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It's time for Goat Piece, Latin Piece, Fire Piece, Lit Piece. Look, man, I've I've been so hyped for this all week because, especially how the, the last chapter ended, of course, but especially with us getting info slash whatever it is on, on Film Gold, bro, look, I, I went to sleep last night and I turned off all social media. I was not getting on anything. Anything. All right, so I woke up today. I got all my stuff done. Now the rest of the day is going to be dedicated to to, to my to the stuff I got to do on YouTube, which is something I haven't I haven't been able to do in quite some time. So we're gonna start off with the One Piece. I, I cannot wait any longer, man. I'm right here looking at my boy Monkey D. Yo, look at that design, and he got the straw hat right here. Flames, bro. Flames, and Luffy himself is looking like a boss. I mean, come on now, man. Goat. And I'm mad excited. It, well, hold on, before, because I, I want to see the lead color page. Because this might have to be either phone. What? By the gods, yo, this is lit. Yo, th this is getting saved. I'm gonna have to put that on my wall. Dog, look at this. You look at Usopp, bro. He's looking to the side. He's not smiling or nothing. He's just looking now, scouting for danger. What? Oh yeah, yeah. U Usopp. Usopp looks the, out of out of all of them. U Usopp looks freaking nasty. He got the hat on. He got the goggles. He got the ah! Usopp is looking goat. Usopp's looking nice. Frankie looks serious as hell. Nami's on that baby family. I'm coming, baby. Robin's looking nice. Sanji Chopper, uh, Brooke is over here. Zoro's Zor looking badass, but nah, bro. Usopp takes this color page. Look at him. Yo, dude, Usopp looks like a boss. And of course, Luffy right in the middle. He's got a beast design as well. So here we go. One Piece film gold. And I absolutely love the whole thing I would have decided to go here with. It looks, it just, it just looks awesome. It looks, and I'm wondering who, who, th this, this is the, this is the guy from the movie, right? Because I, I don't, I don't, I haven't really searched up much information for for film gold. So I'm, I'm going to assume that this is going to be the main antagonist for the for film gold, right? Oh, he's he's even singing into a mic and everything. I I like his design from here. And uh, star earrings, got little sunglasses. This looks cool. Looks cool. It's the grand global unveiling of One Piece film gold, written by Ichiro Oda himself. That means it's going to be another ten out of ten movie. Anything written by Oda is a ten out of ten. And that's facts, because you, you see the strong world. To me, I loved it so much. Film Z was godlike. So here we go. <laughs> a front page color reveal of the main visual poster. I'm excited as hell for this movie. Very, very excited. And plus with the other designs that have been revealed, what, what like, um, Anami's looks amazing. What do you lot think? Do I look... Oh, oh, that's, I thought that was Kaido for... No, that, that's Jack, that, that's Jack Ship, Jack Ship, Jack Ship. I, I, I almost, I almost said, <laughs> like, like he, he fought a rice kid that much, but not as Jack. No, certainly not. I've never seen you look more lively, Captain Jack. Oh my. Yeah, this man, he, look at his huge body reading this little tiny, is that a newspaper? Go to assume that's a newspaper. Zoe Claw City. My deepest apologies to you all. Allow me to, hold on. So here we see Jack. Jack is chilling on his ship, bro. Which 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 means that 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 the the what was said earlier with Jack being you know being taken out after he left Zoe was obviously bullshit on 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 the government's behalf. So there we go. At least at least at least that's that's confirmation right there. Let me see. Uh, my deepest apologies to you all. Allow me to. And there goes my boy Kinemon, man. Oh, the name of the chapter is is a rise over the mist. What is this emblem? Is that a bird in the middle? Well, once again, confirm who I am. This look, this looks cool. You know what it reminds me? It reminds me of um of the Task Force One Four One symbol from Modern Warfare Two. For some reason, I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure why. That really is it, Duke Master. Just like Rizo, this man bears the family crest of the Kozuki family. Oh wait, wait, Kozuki. Last chapter this was written as Kogetsu. Not sure why the change happened. Oh okay, so it's either Kozuki or Kogetsu. I'll I'll search I'll I'll search it up I'll search it up um whenever, whenever I finish this this chapter, uh if if there's like any famous lineage that that has to do with either the Kozuki or or Kogetsu family, that that's pretty interesting though. I'm, I love really like the spread right here with Inurashi and freaking the goat and Neko Mamushi, Kozuki. I never would have imagined that they'd actually known each other. I figured he'd just get into a full on brawl with the Minx. Sheesh. Oh well, it's not like there wasn't a good reason for them not telling us. 
Let's see, and they're all just in Nami Swan. Just now, I heard them saying that Neko and Inu both have crests as well. Hey, I guess both their bonds run far deeper than we could have ever thought. Hell yeah! Which which means that obviously their their connections are deep with 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 them down in in Wano. Uh, so that means that at least this is how I take it. I take it that. We're going to have the Minx, uh, or at least Inarashi, Nekomushi, and 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 the boys, you know, coming up in there. Well, it's at both at both aspects, right? It's just the, the Minx in in general, following Nekomushi and, and Inarashi down to Wano. So even even if the crew splits up here, whoever if if one of them ends up going to Wano, if if they don't go all together, if one of them goes splits off by themselves, then at least they're going to have the Minx backing them up because. I'm I'm pretty sure they're if their roots really go down that deep and they know something down is going down in Wano, I'm pretty sure the Minx are going to be there ASAP. To if they did all this for them, what they call down there the Kozuki family, they're in the like swimwear, they're in the like swimwear. So I'm pretty sure that, that that's what that is right there. Uh, let me see. I get, uh, yeah, most definitely. You truly are a sight for sore eyes, Inarashi Nekomamushi. I'm pleasantly surprised that both of you are still alive. To think that you were here. <laughs> hey, 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 my boy's putting on the jacket and everything. I, I like, I like his smug look right here. It looks cool. Death will not take us so easily. Hey, Inarashi going in with the words. We know that if we kept those words from the day in mind and waited, yes, we knew our paths would cross once again. Oh yeah, so so they definitely know each other from the past. Oh, a freak show cat and if you mind, Kenny Moore and I have very important matters to discuss. You gotta love the rivalries, man. Hey, I'm talking with you would give him brain cramps. Oh my! <laughs> I was very him that horrible fate. Please, both of your long-awaited wait guest has finally arrived. Now is not the exactly so. Sh sh <laughs> the grown-ups are talking here. Hey, Momo, Inarashi, Nekumamushi, stop bickering. You two were such fast friends. Uh, what, why are you at each other's throats? Well, that, that's precisely the point, man. That, that's, that's where their bonds really, really come together. Their arguments. Well, I shan't allow you to squabble anymore. And, oh, oh man, I'm almost crying. Even more so if the reason for your quarrel is father. If he saw you two behaving in such a manner, father would be deeply saddened. Father? Because I, he he can't be talking about uh, um, freaking Candy Moon because Candy Moon's there. So could it be yo, bro? Is he really the son of of like a shogun or a, someone really really big in Wano? That'd be insane, yo. Know, you know what? It, let, let, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's go. But that—that's hype. That's hype. That—that that, that just adds another layer into this whole mystery going around. My lord, I, yo, it's, it's got it's gotta be it's gotta be the shogun. If you say my lord, it's gonna be shogun. It's gonna be the shogun. It's gotta be a lord. He says my lord, my lord. That means that 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 um Momonosuke has to be. Just like in, I wish. Why don't why don't my videos never stay up? Damn it! And it was, and I apologize because I, I forget who it was the the, the, the the two theories that I took inspiration from that I posted in that video. Damn it! I'm forgetting, man. But I wish that video was still up, yo, because we were discussing that in in the comment section and the video itself that it, it, the possibility of him being the son of a shogun, like yo, my lord, which means that he will be next in line. That has to be it. Samurai country, he he's got to be something. He's, he's got he, the only thing I can think of is a shogun. Yo, I, seriously, seriously, Momo, what you mean, father? He's right here, isn't he? Please say for the longest apologies, Lord Momonosuke. We're most embarrassed. Truly, it is as you say. What, well, Duke? For the master to bow his head, could this be? He is indeed Lord Momonosuke in every sense of the word. Are we getting revelations here, folks? Please forgive us deceiving you for all this fun truth, Lord Momonosuke. I I knew it. I freaking knew it. I told you before. Uh, the child you see before you is the heir to the... Ah! You, you gotta love when things come true. The child you see before you is the heir to the great daimyo of Kuri of the Wano Kingdom, Lord Odin Kozuki. Lord Momonosuke Kozu... Odin Kozuki, yo, that's a beast name. Odin Kozuki. Wano Kingdom daimyo of Kuri. Yo, that's freaking awesome. I, uh, da daimyo. What? What? No, I, I got. I got to search it up. What does? What? What does? What does daimyo mean? Daimyo. All right. One of the great lords who are vassals of the freaking shogun. <laughs> yeah, dude. The legends were true. The, the, the goat piece, ladies and gentlemen. Goat piece, right here. And I quote. 
Daimyo, one of the great lords who were vessels of the Shogun, which means that they're definitely invested in the whole Shogun family. Woo! Oda! That's what I'm talking about, man. I, I, there's, there's, that's the only way you can call somebody Lord. Right? And, and Wano, that has to do with Feudal Japan? Shogun it, man. The freaking Shogun. All right, let's see. The heir of the Kozuki clan? The son of Lord Odin? Forgive us for not recognizing you. So Momo's sort of, some sort of big shot or something. Considering he's got, he's got those two as his retainers, it's safe to say he's an influential lord. That's an understatement. <laughs> that is definitely an understatement. At any rate, for all of us, including Inurashi and Nekumushi, he is our lord and master. However, if his true identity were to be discovered during our travels, our enemies would, would but increase. Thus, we pretended to be father and son. Yeah, precisely. We trusted you... We, we trusted you all. However, the timing was not right for us to reveal the truth. So you aren't dad and kid? <laughs> they sure do act uh, look, They sure do look alike, though. Sorry for lying. I'm actually the son of a daimyo. A daimyo. A vassal of the shogun. Yo, that's crazy. Um, I don't know about your dad, but you're definitely a, a, a deviant. A daimyo, I said. <laughs> so, so that means that... So if he's the son of a daimyo, let me say he's the son of a vassal of the shogun. Yo, that's... Still, yo, because in order for to call somebody my lord, yo, I'm I'm curious. And Odin Kozuki, that's a, that, that's a nice that's a nasty name. I like that name. Well, whatever. What do you mean, whatever? I do not appreciate your up your uppity tone, Luffy. <laughs> this is me caring. <laughs> Big whoops. Are you some hotshot lord or something? That that doesn't mean we have to start acting differently, you dummy. Hey, at least Luffy's keeping it 100, man. He's keeping it 100. You're afraid of heights and you're a coward? Come on. A warrior does not know fear. Stop your slandering. Here they go again. He did save our lives, but a pirate does not know to defer does not know of deference to authority. Leave him be. For heaven's sake. <laughs> that freaking bastard. I hate him. I, Momo, you see, Momonosuke in these type of situations, I just want to nail him. But I, at the same time, I, I respect him. I respect him for being a man. I respect him for being a just. The, 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 the dude, you know, after seeing this. For heaven's sake, Onami, Luffy's a horrible person. Oh my gosh, man. Freaking lucky bastard. Get away from her, little Momonosuke. <laughs> oh man. Look at this freaking... I'm tired of this bastard. Momo, you, my dear, if your daddy's a lord, then that means... <laughs> And real talk, real talk. She's taking advantage of the situation. Screw it. Hit the rings. Nah, no, screw that, man. She's taking advantage of the situation. It's not been... <laughs> I love that, though. I, lo I love the use of that quirk. I love it. It's not been more than a few months. I guess these guys' exuberance will, will liven up the, the place a tad. I'm saving this panel, yo. <laughs> Let me see. That's, that's, that's funny. A truce, cat. If we continue on like this, we would just cause Lord Momonosuke to suffer. For the sake of our lord, we shall keep things civilized, but that won't change how I really feel. Oh, my. A temporary truce is better than no truce, you know? So it shall be. And there it is. Finally. We are now... 14? Now, I, I, I want to say 14 chapters into the Zoark. And we just had an awesome moment to where they finally come together and they shake hands after God knows how many years. And it's, it's, it's awesome. Really, really awesome. The rulers of day and night have finally made up. Amazing. So this is the power of the Kozuki clan. There are two rulers have made up. I think I'm going to cry. I was doing that last week. <laughs> Guardians Residential District A, it's the whale tree. Time to climb the whale. Ooh, we're actually going to get up and close with this thing? Sweet. If you learn the proper way to ascend the vines, you can go all the way to the top. So this is where Rizo is. Are we, are we about to see Rizo? The legend and the myth? I wonder if Rizo really is a, a, a female, though. I, I always love that theory. That, that uh, The possibility of Rizo being a, a, a woman? I, I would love that. I would love that, man. Shout out to Oniwawa and Shu. We're in there. I can't wait a real a, a real ninja. We're actually we're we're gonna see an actual ninja. Ninja, ninja. <laughs> hey man, we'll have a a, a re, re, reuniting man. Uh, I still feel terrible, Kunimon. You could wait for us at the bottom, my lord. What in the world is that? It shows like shurikens and is that a transformation jutsu? <laughs> I wonder what that is. I I can't tell what that is in the bubble. Let me see. Um, the closer we get to the whale, the more I, the more I can hear this loud voice. He really is like his highness. There was another who said who said much the same. Indeed, I too remember him. There's an entrance here. It's a hidden door, impossible to find. A hidden door, man. Hey, shout, shout out to the Zelda. Shout out to Zelda, man. And they're enter, entering a tree like Zelda too. 
The stair be careful, the stairs are many. I can hear someone screaming down there. Here we are. Yahoo! Where's the ninja? There you are, Nekamamushi. Ninja, ninja. Are those sake cups? Ninja, nin. What happened? Why didn't you? Whoa! Oh, so this is Rizal's design. Rizal of the Mist. I don't know how ever. I, I, I mean, I like. Wait, wait. Is he? Damn, he's small. Well, I guess that makes sense because of, of the implications that were let on earlier. But what is that crescent thing on his head? He has like a little crescent shaped thing in the He's crying. Go on. Let me read the dialogue. Why didn't you hand me over to the enemy? The ones who have been bringing me food are all heavily wounded. I heard the country is now safe. Is that true? If you've been lying to me, I won't let you off lightly. And he's being completely tied down to. What the hell? Yo, those markings, they're really, really resembling a poneglyph. Actually, those are the exact same. So the 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 Zoe have like um like I, I kind of call it like an like an alabaster or I should say just in, in Egypt in general. So they have hieroglyphics that are that are resemblant to the poneglyphs. I guess that does make sense because on this wall here, it could very well be that it, it, the, the since the elephant freaking has been around for a thousand years. And who knows, man, out of all the different things that could be on it, it, it may very well have the same language that was spoken at that point in time. So hey, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool touch by Oda, man. No lie. I never even thought about that. It's a thousand years old, so it should have some sort of hieroglyphics or that, that language that they spoke that is the same one that, that Robin needs in order to read the Poneglyphs. That's genius. Absolutely genius. Let me see. Oh, talk about a huge let. <laughs> <laughs> they were expecting a, a ninja, yo, a, a beast. But I guarantee you, my boy Rizo is taking W's. I, I know he's a beast. I know he's a beast. Yeah, I, li I like his design, though. It's it's, it's just classic Oda. That's funny. Um, who goes there? Rizo, Kinemon, Kondro, Libramonosuke. I'm glad you're all unharmed. Likewise. Is that the crest of the Kozuki clan? Let me see. And that stone, I've never seen one in that color. It's a deep red. <gasps> it is a Poneglyph. Oh my! No, so it, it wasn't just a, a wall. This is an actual. We haven't seen. We, oh, the last time we saw Poneglyph was. Was a Scott. Wait, no. The last time we, we got a mention of a Poneglyph, if I'm not mistaken, was Annie's Lobby. I believe that was the last time that we saw a Poneglyph. Because Philip Ark, no. No, no, no. What am I saying? Fishman Island. I, I forget what I said. I'm over here because I'm, I'm once again I'm going through my reread. Fishman Island was the last time we had a Poneglyph, so it hasn't been that long. It's only been a few years, but still, yo, and that stone, I've never seen one in that color. It's a deep red, a red Poneglyph. That crest has been there for hundreds of years. Yo, so it is, oh my, what's, uh, yo, I wonder what this one says. I have, I have heard about you, Nico Robin. It is said that those of O'Hara learn to read those letters. But if it's red, then like, is there a difference? A red Poneglyph. Why is it red? This one is apparently for some reason, for some, this one is apparently for some different purpose. Can you read it? Yes, may I? Of course. Do I have something on my face where I stare at me so intently? <laughs> are you really a ninja? How rude! <laughs> they are the Stride Pirates. Pirates! Hurry up and fling some shuriken for us. Go <laughs> They're over here doing head slides and everything. That's so cool. Go stand under a waterfall. Show some ninja arts. Show some earth release jutsu. A uh, fire release is so much better. A fireball jutsu. And we're in there. I do agree. Fire fi fire is much more. Well, actually, yeah, they, the Fire Nation was beast in Avatar too. So I, I guess I like the fire abilities more. But yo, earth, man. Earth jutsu. They don't, 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 don't ever take it down. That was nice. Turn it down a notch. Why would pirates want? It has nothing to do with being pirates. All men are obsessed with ninjas. <laughs> Hey, 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 that might be true. That might be true. Maybe that's why uh, the, 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 uh, Japanese culture and Naruto and all these other ninja series are so freaking popular. Especially Naruto. Have you ever gone out with a Konoichi? <laughs> hey, that's what I thought she, that's what I thought Ryze was going to be, a freaking Konoichi. She just thought to jump higher using, using, uh, using a growing piece of bamboo. A display of clone jutsu would be nice. All the little laws of troll. Kage wouldn't she no jutsu? Hide in the ceiling and get pierced by a spear. Take out a scroll and say, Neen, neen, hey, silence. Quit pushing your, your imaginations on me. Ninja, do not say nin nin. The ninja you have in your heads are but fantasy. And you call yourself a ninja? Look at yourself. 
I know that Kenoichi won't even look my way. Just leave me be. Aw, oh, man, don't worry about it, man. He, he'll get himself a nice female. No, that's for damn sure. Also, I mean, just by him saying that, I'm hoping that we're going to get a very, very beautiful Kenoichi later on down the line. It doesn't necessarily have to be beautiful either. Just uh, this is a Kenoichi from my man, Raizo, man. Just that one state, it made, it made me feel for him, man. Listen up, ninja. Are all ab are, are 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 above all silent and conspicuous and strong of heart. One who spends his lives in the shadows would never show his talents to ninjutsu to some side. Sh He's about to do it, isn't he? He's about to show some ninjutsu. I I, I know he is. He's about to ninjars. <laughs> I had a feeling smoke release jutsu. Ah, he disappeared. I have not disappeared. Here I am, and here too, and here too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, there's a bunch of him now. Could this be? Is he about to say clone jutsu? Ninja art clone jutsu. You dare to ask if I am really a ninja? Flower shuriken. Holy crap. <laughs> that is cool. That's, I like that. that that's freaking awesome. Uh, the, the ladies cringe when they see me. My foes revile me. Rise of the mist in the flesh. Nin nin. Rizo is our guy. God Rizo, man. God Rizo. Oh, that's the end of this week's chapter. So next week we'll find out what the red poneglyph reads. Yo, I'm really, really interested. I seriously thought Oda was going for the, for the hieroglyphics thing, but man, what a bunch of things that went down in this week's chapter at One Piece. Really well worth the wait. First of all, I love that color page. Then, of course, we get to see Jack and get the confirmation that, that, that the government was pulling, what we they basically were pulling our legs, or pulling their legs, and, uh, and, and it, uh, everything they said in the article was extremely an utter BS. And then, of course, we get the confirmation that it is, in fact, true that Kinemon and Momonosuke are not, are not related. And, yo, Odin Kozuki, that's a beast name. So the Kozuki clan instead of, of the Kogetsu clan. So it's, it, it, and then, of course, it's a vassal to the Shogun, which is very, very high. Ah, oh, damn, yo, this is, this is going to be interesting. I, I, I really am interested now because they, their connections, the guys, these minks, their connections dwell deep within Wano. I mean, it's close to the Shogun, the highest possible position you can have. So it's like, damn. So that definitely, definitely their, their, their roots definitely go deep in that. But what is going to happen, man? Because we still have the whole situation where they have to go after Sanji. So, I mean, will there be a split up? I, I, yo, I, I'm still not sure about that. But then the confirmation of an actual well, Rizal design, love it. Classic Oda. And I, I love, I'm loving all the ninja jokes. It's, just, it's awesome. And then, of course, when it comes down to the red poneglyph, I'm really interested in what the red poneglyph has to say. Because we haven't gotten a poneglyph since um, the the uh, Fishman Island. Fishman Island, that's when, we, that's when we first learned of Joy Boy and all that. So, yo, this red poneglyph, my, it, it, this, this, this thing has been around for a thousand years. This poneglyph might have some detrimental information for the series of One Piece. And that's going to be freaking exciting. So, overall, this week's chapter for me... Gets a fantastic sauce. I love this chapter, guys. Loved it from beginning to end in every aspect. We got so much great content. And, man, just a lot of great reveals. A lot of great reveals. And I'm, I'm really, really happy. Next, I mean, seriously. Next week is about to be lit. When we find out what the Red Poneglyph says, oh, it's, like, it's like Fishman Island all over again. I can't believe that I... I'm, it's it's, it's like a freaking emotional moments thing. I had, I had my mind stuck on pre-time skip stuff. But yeah, guys. You guys have been awesome for day. Leave me a thumbs up. I want you guys to about this chapter of One Piece. I loved it to the max. This was awesome sauce. And yeah, I, yeah once again, Usopp was looking nice in that film gold um, thing, man. Looking really nice. So you guys have been awesome for day. One Piece greatness for the win. Fantastic sauce of a chapter once again. Rise of the Mist, man. What more can I say? It's it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun to see how this plays out. Uh, seriously. <laughs>